NAV 1.7 is a sodium ion channel that in humans is encoded by the SCN9A gene. It is usually expressed at high levels in two types of neurons, the nociceptive pain, neurons at dorsal root ganglion DRG, and trigeminal ganglion and sympathetic ganglion neurons, which are part of the autonomic involuntary, nervous system. Function NAV 1.7 is a voltage-gated sodium channel and plays a critical role in the generation and conduction of action potentials and is thus important for electrical signaling by most excitable cells. NAV 1.7 is present at the endings of pain-sensing nerves, the nociceptors, close to the region where the impulse is initiated. Stimulation of the nociceptor nerve endings produces generator potentials, which are small changes in the voltage across the neuronal membranes. The NAV 1.7 channel amplifies these membrane depolarizations, and when the membrane potential difference reaches a specific threshold, the neuron fires. In sensory neurons, multiple voltage-dependent sodium currents can be differentiated by their voltage dependence and by sensitivity to the voltage-gated sodium channel blocker tetradoxin. The NAV 1.7 channel produces a rapidly activating and inactivating current which is sensitive to the level of tetradoxin. NAV 1.7 is important in the early phases of neuronal electrogenesis. NAV 1.7 activity consists of a slow transition of the channel into an inactive state when it is depolarized, even to a minor degree. This property allows these channels to remain available for activation with even small or slowly developing depolarizations. Stimulation of the nociceptor nerve endings produces generator potentials. Small changes in the voltage across the neuronal membranes. This brings neurons to a voltage that stimulate NAV 1.8, which has a more depolarized activation threshold that produces most of the transmembrane current responsible for the depolarizing phase of action potentials. Clinical significance Animal studies the critical role of NAV 1.7 in nociception and pain was originally shown using CRE LOX recombination tissue specific knockout mice. These transgenic mice specifically lack NAV 1.7 in NAV 1.8 positive nociceptors and showed reduced behavioral responses, specifically to acute mechanical and inflammatory pain assays. At the same time, behavioral responses to acute thermal and neuropathic pain assays remained intact. However, the expression of NAV 1.7 is not restricted to NAV 1.8 positive DRG neurons. Further work examining the behavioral response of two other transgenic mouse strains, one lacking NAV 1.7 in all DRG neurons and the other lacking NAV 1.7 in all DRG neurons as well as all sympathetic neurons, has revealed distinct sets of modality-specific peripheral neurons. Therefore, NAV 1.7 expressed in NAV 1.8 positive DRG neurons is critical for normal responses to acute mechanical and inflammatory pain assays. Whilst NAV 1.7 expressed in NAV 1.8 negative DRG neurons is critical for normal responses to acute thermal pain assays. Finally, NAV 1.7 expressed in sympathetic neurons is critical for normal behavioral responses to neuropathic pain assays. Primary erythromyalgia Mutation in NAV 1.7 may result in primary erythromyalgia PE, an autosomal dominant, inherited disorder which is characterized by attacks or episodes of symmetrical burning pain of the feet, lower legs, and sometimes hands, elevated skin temperature of affected areas, and reddened extremities. The mutation causes excessive channel activity which suggests that NAV 1.7 sets the gain on pain signaling in humans. It was observed that a missense mutation in the SCN9A gene affected conserved residues in the pore forming alpha subunit of the NAV 1.7 channel. Multiple studies have found a dozen SCN9A mutations in multiple families as causing erythromelagia. All of the observed erythromyalgia mutations that are observed are missense mutations that change important and highly conserved amino acid residues of the NAV 1.7 protein. The majority of mutations that cause PE are located in cytoplasmic linkers of the NAV 1.7 channel, however some mutations are present in transmembrane domains of the channel. 
the PE mutations cause a hyperpolarizing shift in the voltage dependence of channel activation, which allows the channel to be activated by smaller than normal depolarizations, thus enhancing the activity of NAV 1.7. Moreover, the majority of the PE mutations also slow deactivation, thus keeping the channel open longer once it is activated. In addition, in response to a slow, depolarizing stimulus, most mutant channels will generate a larger-than-normal sodium current. Each of these alterations in activation and deactivation can contribute to the hyperexcitability of pain signaling DRG neurons expressing these mutant channels, thus causing extreme sensitivity to pain, hyperalgesia. While the expression of PE-NAV 1.7 mutations produces hyperexcitability in DRG neurons, studies on cultured rat in sympathetic ganglion neurons indicate that expression of these same PE mutations results in reduction of excitability of these cells. This occurs because NAV 1.8 channels, which are selectively expressed in addition to NAV 1.7 in DRG neurons, are not present within sympathetic ganglion neurons. Thus lack of NAV 1.7 results in inactivation of the sodium channels results in reduced excitability. Thus physiological interaction of NAV 1.7 and NAV 1.8 can explain the reason that PE presents with pain due to hyperexcitability of NAC receptors and with sympathetic dysfunction that is most likely due to hypoexcitability of sympathetic ganglion neurons. Recent studies have associated a defect in SCN9A with congenital insensitivity to pain. Paroxysmal extreme pain disorder Paroxysmal extreme pain disorder PEPD, is another rare, extreme pain disorder. Like primary erythromyalgia, PEPD is similarly the result of a gain of function mutation in the gene encoding the NAV 1.7 channel. Congenital insensitivity to pain Individuals with congenital insensitivity to pain have painless injuries beginning in infancy but otherwise normal sensory responses upon examination. Patients frequently have bruises and cuts, and are often only diagnosed because of limping or lack of use of a limb. Individuals have been reported to be able to walk over burning coals and to insert knives and drive spikes through their arms. It has been observed that the insensitivity to pain does not appear to be due to axonal degeneration. A mutation that causes loss of NAV 1.7 function has been detected in three consanguineous families from northern Pakistan. All mutations observed were nonsense mutation, with the majority of affected patients having a homozygous mutation in the SCN9A gene. This discovery linked loss of NAV 1.7 function with the inability to experience pain. This is in contrast with the genetic basis of primary erythromyalgia in which the disorder results from gain-of-function mutations. Clinical analgesics Local anesthetics such as lidocaine, but also the anticonvulsant phenytoin, mediate their analgesic effects by non-selectively blocking voltage-gated sodium channels. NAV 1.7, as well as NAV 1.3, NAV 1.8, and NAV 1.9, are the specific channels that have been implicated in pain signaling. Thus, the blockade of these specific channels is likely to underlie the analgesia of local anesthetics and anticonvulsants such as phenytoin. In addition, inhibition of these channels is also likely responsible for the analgesic efficacy of certain tricyclic antidepressants, and of mexilatine. Itch. Mutations of NAV 1.7 have been linked to itching pruritus, and genetic knockouts of NAV 1.7 and an antibody that inhibits NAV 1.7 also appear to inhibit itching. Future prospects as the NAV 1.7 channel appears to be a highly important component in nociception, with null activity conferring total analgesia, there has been immense interest in developing selective NAV 1.7 channel blockers as potential novel analgesics. Since NAV 1.7 is not present in heart tissue or the central nervous system, selective blockers of NAV 1.7, unlike non-selective blockers such as local anesthetics, could be safely used systemically for pain relief. 
Moreover, selective NAV 1.7 blockers may prove to be far more effective analgesics, and with fewer undesirable effects, relative to current pharmacotherapies, a number of selective NAV 1.7 and or NAV 1.8 blockers are in clinical development, including Funapid TV 45070, XEN 402, PF 0508971, DSP 2230, NKTR 171, GDC 0276, and RG7893, GDC0287. Ralfinamide, formerly NW1029, FCE26742A, PNU 154339 e is a multimodal, non-selective NAV channel blocker which is under development for the treatment of pain. Surprisingly, many potent NAV 1.7 blockers have been found to be clinically effective but only relatively weak analgesics. Recently, it has been elucidated that congenital loss of NAVV 1.7 results in a dramatic increase in the levels of endogenous encephalins, and it was found that blocking these opioids with the opioid antagonist naloxone allowed for pain sensitivity both in NAVV 1.7 null mice and in a woman with a defective NAVV 1.7 gene and associated congenital insensitivity to pain. Development of the venom-derived peptide, JNJ63955 allowed for selective inhibition of NAV 1.7 only while it was in the closed state, which produced results, in mice, much more similar to knockout models. It is possible that channel blockade is maximal only when the channel is inhibited in its closed state. It appears that complete inactivation of NAV 1.7 mediated sodium efflux is necessary to upregulate encephalin expression enough to achieve complete analgesia. Prior to the development of JNJ63955, the most potent NAV 1.7 antagonists had failed in regards to achieving the same degree of analgesia as congenital NAV 1.7 inactivity. The proposed mechanism also suggests that the analgesic effects of NAV 1.7 blockers may be greatly potentiated by the co-administration of exogenous opioids or encephalinase inhibitors. Supporting this idea, a strong analgesic synergy between local anesthetics and topical opioids has already been observed in clinical research. An additional implication of the aforementioned findings is that congenital insensitivity to pain may be clinically treatable with opioid antagonists. References Further reading External links SCN 9A Plus Protein, Plus Human at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings Mesh. Genervues, NCBI, NIH, UW Entry on SCN 9A Related Inherited Erythromyalgia